Yo guys, it's Sam. I hope all of you are doing well. This is iOS 12.1.1. At beta one, Apple ceded this to developers earlier today, and initially I didn't think there would be anything to talk about, but after diving a little bit deeper, there are some big changes in the FaceTime app that we definitely have to talk about. On my iPhone at 10s, the update was about 400 megabytes, but if you're excited for these FaceTime changes, drop a like, subscribe for more in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into what's new. So once you're in the FaceTime app, without making a call, you won't notice any changes, but as soon as you jump into a call, you'll notice that the entire UI is not only different, it is so much better. Apple changed it drastically with iOS 12, and for once, in a very rare occasion, Apple actually took this feedback constructively and came up with a better resolution, rather than just saying this is the way it's going to be, get used to it. Here's a look at the UI side by side here. So on the left is iOS 12.1, and on the right is iOS 12.1.1, and you'll notice immediately there are some really big differences. Number one, it's not a two or three step process to either mute yourself or flip the camera anymore. There's not just this more menu. It is built right into the bottom of your FaceTime call. Immediately, you can flip the camera with ease. Like that should have been there always, but it is back now. And also you can mute yourself on the fly. Again, no longer a two or three step process. Effects are also there as well still, and you do have the end call button, but the location of everything has been shifted around a little bit. And from my initial impressions and using it for just a little bit, it makes so much more sense. I think people are going to love the fact that FaceTime is easy to use again. But on top of all this, another fan favorite FaceTime feature has returned. For some reason in iOS 12, Apple just blanketly removed the live FaceTime photo feature. I'm really happy to tell you and show you that that feature is back. Now, both parties on the call, or I would assume every party, if it is a group FaceTime call, does have to have the option enabled for this. I believe it is located in FaceTime settings, but it's back now. You can finally capture live photos in FaceTime, which I know people with long distance relationships or people just calling their friends and family are really going to appreciate. I never got why Apple took it out. They never commented as to why it disappeared. It's one of those things that just wasn't there for some reason and nobody really knew why. Now there's no official word on when these features are launching for everybody. Again, right now, this is only in beta for developers at the time of recording this video, but it should be available for public beta testers soon and for everybody else, probably in three or four weeks. But again, we won't know for sure until we have more information either from Apple or it just comes out. So that is iOS 12.1.1. And for now, FaceTime is going to be the big takeaway for that release. A little bit unrelated, but still really cool. I want to show you some new wallpapers that are going to be shipping with the new iPad Pros. As always, if you want to download these, I will leave a link down below in the description. 9to5Mac was able to extract them ahead of the official launch on Wednesday, November 7th. But Apple is always knocked it out of the park here. They are super, super abstract, although you can sort of see some patterns and details in here of all different sorts and varieties. Some are more artistic, I would say. Some some appear to be like some flatter paint splatters and then others are paint splatters that are much, much more detailed. They all look fantastic. I will definitely be rocking these on my 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017 until the new iPads come out. And of course, I'll be rocking these once the new iPads are actually released. So let me know your thoughts on iOS 12.1.1 and these new wallpapers down below in the comment section. That's all I've got for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for more. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great and I'll see you in my next video.